So hey YouTubers, this is kind of an off-subject video, but uh, I was trying to figure out how I could put my, some of my blow-ups up on my tile roof without damaging the roof or, um, you know, causing any problems up there. And I came up with this idea, so if you like it, uh, check it out. So basically got some uh, sand and filled up one gallon Ziplocs. And then these are those uh, cheap, like, um, take to the store, use your own bags. Stick that in there. So I just loop that around the handle. Slap that on there. Wrap the bag over itself. Alright guys, so this is a pretty huge blow up. I think the wingspan on this thing is like 16 foot. And uh, it's up here pretty solid. So as you can see, and I wrapped a little bit of the extension cord around this too. I took that bag, uh, tied it to the handles on the bag, and then just wrapped it around a couple times and set it in place. Uh, I did do a big one right under the main part of the sand stand. And I used some zip ties to hold the main, the main stand to that bag on that one. But the sandbag works good because it kind of contours to the tile roof. Um, so it worked out really good. Got a couple of them on that one. But as you can see, you can't really tell, but you know, this, thing's, this thing's on here pretty stout. So I'm really happy with it. It came out really good and it's cheap. Another idea for you if you need to figure out how to put some uh, uh, decorations on your brick wall. That's just a piece of plywood with some uh, one by two ran around so it just sits on top of that brick. And then uh, this one's a piece of plywood with just two pieces of uh, one by two. Uh, just kind of sandwiching on the brick so it just kind of sets up there. I did another one over here. This is just a little better view. So he just stays anchored in all the time. And it's just a cap that sits up there. So that's how I did those. Just different ideas for you to put stuff on a brick wall without damaging the brick wall or anchoring into the brick wall. So this is another uh, quick and easy decoration to set up after you would do the initial um, but this is just strands of lights wrapped around a piece of PVC. So you tape the one end and then you twist the PVC and get it all going. And then this is just rebar grinded to a point that I stake into the ground. Um, and just wrap it and tape it every once in a while. And as long as you don't take them off, just find a storage place where you can uh, keep them intact for the year. Uh, it's real quick and easy and it looks really cool lit up. And it's again another cheap thing. The only thing I will say is the first time I did these, I did not use light strands with individual bulbs burning out. Like it took out half my strand. So I don't recommend that. Just make sure you get light strands that are one bulb only. Uh, if you lose a bulb, it doesn't knock out the whole strand because that makes it a pain in the butt to try and figure out what's going on. And then one other uh, thing that I did is you can use uh, Christmas light hooks, but I actually redid mine and used tie wire uh, on my rain gutters here. So just wrap it and uh, make a little hook out of it. Uh, that's worked out really slick. And I just leave them up year round. Obviously not the lights, but the, the hooks. Try and get you a good view of the Christmas light hooks. And I've had these up here for about three years now, so they're a little rusted, but all your uh, end tiles have nails and you can just kind of feed it around and hook it and pinch it together on the nail and then that way you've got your hooks. That's how I did all mine. And uh, like I said, those have been up there for like three years now. I just leave them up there because you can't even see them once you take the lighting down for all my icicles along the, the tile roof. So all these uh, 
metal decorations were actually made to stand on the ground. And uh, instead of that, I basically made a metal hook. Just bent that and then drilled and anchored a couple screws in. Uh, so those would hang on the wall. Again, without damaging the wall in any way, without having to anchor into the wall. And that was basically the same concept I used to hang those lights like I did on that wall. So this was kind of our uh, final for the year. Came out pretty good. We have a show box that we picked up after Christmas for like 50 bucks. And it's what's doing all the, uh, the uh, lighting sequence. We're trying to get it programmed in the music right now, but there's my two uh, blow-ups on the roof. Came out pretty good. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully those ideas help you out. I've been trying to figure out how to do this for a couple of years now because uh, our main part of our uh, front yard was getting way too crowded with those two big blow-ups down here. So, uh, and it's working out pretty good so far. Have a good one. Later.